if I sound tired, that's because I am. <laughs> Hey there, it's me, Sam again, and welcome to week 3 of the 31 days of Danganronpa. I can't believe I'm actually still doing this. <laughs> to keep the intro short and sweet, if you don't know what the 31 days of Danganronpa is, check out part 1. The playlist is in the description, and let's just go! Okay, so day 15 was the trope, favorite Super Danganronpa 2 character, and I drew Monomi because she's pretty much the only one that really stuck to me after all those years because I don't know it's just my favorite characters used to be Kazuichi, Peko and Ibuki but now it's like mm, eh, they're still good but mm. the color palette I used was what I gain I lose and this is by far the shortest that took me to draw something for this challenge, which is 12 minutes. But then again, I only had to draw a bunny, you know. Okay, day 16, favorite Alter Despair Girls character, and listen, I was waiting for this day, the mom is in the building, finally, Hiroko is here, and I just love this woman so much, I love drawing her, I love cosplaying her, it's just, mm, beautiful woman, beautiful mother, ultimate mom, Kirumi who, I only know Hiroko, um, <laughs> it took me 25 minutes, and I used the palette Cool Sunsets, However, I didn't draw her titty fish. I was too lazy for the titty fish. Sorry. <laughs> but still, you're still getting a very beautiful woman out of this. <laughs> Okay, so for day 17, we have favorite V3 character, and I chose Kaito for this one. Okay, listen, the palette I used, I swear it's a different one than from the one before. It just looks very, very similar to the one I used for Hiroko. Um, this one, however, is called Saltwater Tears, and it took me 26 minutes to draw this one. Uh, the thing with Kaito is, he was literally the first character I fell in love with before the game even came out, because I already liked his design and from what you could have kind of tell about his character by just looking at him, he was already really outstanding to me. And it's just, he's purple, he's space, he has a goatee. I love it. <laughs>
Okay, for day 18, I had character you'd burn in a hole, and I thought I would be clever and draw Haiji actually burning because he just, um, you know, it's Haiji. <laughs> okay, the palette I used was without a heart, and it took me 28 minutes to draw. The reason why I picked Haiji is mostly because of moral standpoints, you know, him hinting that he is a pedophile is like, mmm. Not really my cup of tea, you know? <laughs> um, oddly enough, this is so far one of my favorite drawings. I don't know what it is. It's probably the expression I gave him because it looks really cool. It's so weird. I don't know. I mean, Haiji's design is not bad. I actually really like that, but it's just him and his character that I don't like about him. Day 19, a talent I want. Well, I picked Sayaka for this one. With the palette, I kinda like you back, and it took me 22 minutes to draw. And listen, okay, the palette, I hate it so much. It's so ugly. Like, it, it reminds me of carrots. Oh my god, like, it was so hard to work with that. Like, I really like the drawing by itself. It's just the palette ruined everything, and I hate it, and I might redraw it with a different palette just to give this drawing justice, because Sayaka certainly deserves better than that, okay? The reason why I picked Sayaka for this day is because I really like idols, and being an idol would be kind of cool. I mean, obviously, I know they have their strict rules, but I feel like they're not as strict in Japan as they are in Korea with their idols. So being a Japanese idol, I can imagine, would be pretty cool, actually. Okay, we arrived at day 20, which by far took me the longest to draw with 1 hour and 16 minutes. And the trope was talent I have, and the color palette I used was guidance. Now I wouldn't consider my hobbies my talents, I just took my hobbies and put them onto the matching character basically. I am an artist like Angie, and oh my god, those hands. I had so much trouble drawing these hands. Um, I'm an artist like Angie. I am a cosplayer like Tsumugi. And I write fan fiction and make fan art just like uh, Hifumi, so I picked those three characters. For day 21 we have favorite execution and listen, I didn't bother going too much into the details when I was drawing that rocket ship because I only had limited colors and if I had drawn more details I would have had a problem. For that day I picked Kaito again and I used the palette damned if I do and it took me 23 minutes to draw and the reason why I picked Kaito's execution is because it failed. It was Kaito's last middle finger to Monokuma before he died, basically. <laughs> it's not that I wanted to see him dead, obviously. He's my favorite uh, V3 character, you know. But it's just the fact that he didn't die because of the execution, but he died because of his supposed lung cancer. 
I think it was. Plus, he had his dream fulfilled of being in space once, so... It was a really good execution, and it was just a fuck you to Monokuma. <laughs> Day 22, character you'd revive. <laughs> Great. Character you'd revive. And I picked Ishida for this. Now, listen, I treat Ishida as a different character as Kiyotaka, similar to how I treat Seo and Toko as two different characters. The palette I used for this was sodas and skateboards, and it took me 21 minutes to draw. The reason why I picked Ishida is because he probably had one of the most. Like, he had the most unnecessary death. It wouldn't have changed anything in the story if he had stayed alive, really. So, I feel like he deserves to stay alive. Obviously, I could go out and be like, everyone should come back to life. Yeah, sure. But if Ishida is just that case that he just died for the reason that the characters needed to be reduced. And not for an actual real reason. It would have been enough if Celeste had killed Yamada and had left Ishida alive. But, you know... I guess not. <laughs> So that was it for week three. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And special shout out to Akane. It was her birthday on the 20th. And that's also the reason why I'm so tired. Because I've spent a few days at her place. See you next week with week four. And then with the not so big finale for this 31 day challenge. I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.